<laughs> yes, I need my. <laughs> Whoa! I think we are live. So, uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome. Actually, I think we're. Yes, we are. Okay. So, I was seeing a counter in my upper left corner, and I was like, okay, is that counting up or counting down? <laughs> Where you're going? Okay. And I'm going to check in. Um, our Facebook group and make sure that it looks like we are going live in there. I see it. So hopefully. Yep. Oh, so yep. 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 So if you guys are here, let us know you're here. Drop a note in the comments. Say hello. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Uh, it's always great to see so many people on live with us. So let us know you're here. We got some great stuff for you today. Yeah, so, and I'm excited um, to share today on the power of stories. And I know we're really going to be talking about kind of Facebook stories and Instagram stories, but um, it's really hard sometimes learning to be authentic and actually kind of telling our stories. And so that's what's, you know, kind of like just been really, um, you know, rolling around in here and um, learning how to get our story out there. But also, as I say, stories on social media is a little different than our own personal story. So I see Rosemary in here. Good morning. And uh, somebody from Florida. That's awesome. So good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So it's as you guys are jumping on, let us know you're here. And before we dive into the, the stories and the, present, the the official training today, I just want to say congratulations to everybody that is on today because there's about a million other things that you guys could be doing right now. And you chose to show up here. You chose to invest in yourself and in your business to get the tools and the knowledge that you need to know better and do better. So I just want to say congratulations to everybody that is here today. You have already set yourself apart from... 95% of the rest of the population and network marketers. So kudos to all of you for being here today. And Molly and I have some great information that we're going to be sharing with you to get you guys into action and really be able to utilize and move forward um, in your businesses and ultimately help you with your success. So. Absolutely. And you know, it's so funny because uh, Carla, I'm a, I'm a runner and I run races, although haven't since COVID, but you know, people will always comment, you know, that, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so slow or blah, blah, blah. And I would always say, yeah, but you're out here, right? And it's like, you're here. And so you are, you're part of the race in that sense. Um, so good morning, Heather. Good morning, Fabio. So welcome, everybody. Yes, I see Ruth on. Good morning, Ruth. Marlene, hello, hello. Gracie, good morning, everybody. All right, well, let's dive right in, Molly. Yeah, so I'm going to see if I can, uh, let's see, choose what to share. There we are. I'm going to share my screen here. There we are, and pull up um, the file that I want, and then hopefully... So as we're doing that, you guys, let us know in the chat, are you guys using Facebook or Instagram stories? Um, drop some notes in the comments and let us know um, if you guys are already utilizing the, this, these tools um, because it is a really powerful tool um, and can really um, help grow your business and your reach. So let us know. Okay. And I think it's, it's coming. I'm watching on my phone and there's always a little bit of a lag. So, but I think it's getting there. <laughs> um, it's so weird. I don't know, understand why that lag is because it's uh, just kind of strange. But okay, I see that it is coming. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Oh, look at that. How exciting. So, um, Anyways, the power of Facebook stories. And as Carla mentioned, we are super excited to share with you this morning and just how the power of stories can help you not only attract people to you, but help you actually grow your business. 
And so in case we haven't met, we're Carla Munkel and Molly Hurd, and we've been in network marketing for a combined at least 15 years or so. And we build entirely online using attraction marketing. And we really feel mentally and physically on fire, although Carla and I were laughing just a minute ago about, you know, that mental part. <laughs> um, and we're both moms. So I have two older kids that are college age. And Carla, what you've got? I have four kiddos, 10, 8, 5, and 2. So a little bit different age ranges, but yeah, we're... We're in the trenches of motherhood. I don't think you ever get out of it, right, Molly? Even when no, you don't. It's just yeah. different as you go, but um, definitely. So go ahead and um, yeah, share maybe the last bit of this. Yeah. So in the past um, year, um, we've been leaders of our our um, our businesses and our company um, on the fastest growing team in our company. So that's super exciting because um, it's really exciting to be a part of a team that is growing moving forward, expanding, um, just nothing. It's incredible and there's nothing like it. Um, we've both rank advanced a total of nine times in the last year. So that's super fun and exciting. But what's more important is in network marketing, you guys all understand this, you don't get to ranks without helping other people achieve their goals. So where you could look at that and say, yay, and you know, give it, give a, I could give Molly a high five. You know, it's really about the people that we're helping achieve their own personal goals and success that 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 makes that really exciting and i think other network marketing leaders would would echo that same sentiment we are super passionate about helping people achieve their dreams and living a life on purpose um, there's just really nothing like it those that have experienced the ability to help someone achieve a goal there is there's really nothing like it. Molly, and I know you know this from just being a teacher too, um, but this was something new to me. Um, I don't get that, I'm an auditor by trait, so I don't necessarily, I like to think that I help people with business process improvement and, and in the business and consulting world, um, but really when you get that opportunity to work with people firsthand and see, see them light up, see their mindset change, see their belief system change, I just, I just have, I'm, I'm at a loss for words of how to really articulate that to the best of my ability, but it's a pretty amazing feeling. Uh, yes, ah, agree. Did all I can say is ditto, 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 ditto to to that. So, just want to give a welcome to a few others. Um, good morning, Heather. Good morning, Gala. Good morning, Gracie. Gracie, it's so good to see you. Um, welcome, Marlene is here, good morning. So, so great to have you all on this morning. We just really appreciate you being here. So, let's see, let's um, kind of dive in. So, did you know that social media stories are going to dominate our news feed very soon? In fact, um, most of you probably already know this and that it does dominate our news feed. And I am one of those that's always a little slow to catch on to the latest trends. Uh, I do that in clothing as well. It's like when a new trend comes along, I'm like, yeah, I'll stare at it for a long time. And then finally, I kind of jump on the bandwagon. And I did the same thing with social media stories. It took me a long time to jump on that bad bandwagon because I just didn't really understand it and why it was important. Um, so it's like, then you finally get it and you're like, oh, so Carla, did you, you're probably much quicker than I am in catching on to that. I would say I that the time to utilize social media um, stories, whether that's on Facebook or Instagram, the time is now. So if you're not using stories right now, I would, and we're going to get into this a little bit later, but you need to start be using stories today. Like before the end of the day, before your head hits the pillow tonight, you need to have a stories put up and we're going to tell you exactly why you need to do that and why it's so critical. But the time has arrived. Yes. Um, it's something that I waited. I, I saw it come to Facebook and, you know, I think naturally like we want to wait and see what happens, but um, I jumped on it pretty quickly, um, 
simply because it's so simple, right? And it's super fun. So we're going to show you guys how to really leverage that to the best of your ability um, to get eyes on your stuff. Because here's the thing, the news feeds and, and the Facebook posting, your, Facebook is not showing those to all of your friends and family. So if you have a thousand or yeah, if you have a thousand friends on Facebook, the, the thousand people are not seeing your posts. And, you know, some of you put a lot of time and effort into your content and, you know, showing up consistently and kudos to you for doing that. But just because of the way Facebook is built, you're not getting the visibility to that. And we want to be able to help maximize the content that you create and also the eyes and um, visibility that you're getting on your um, social media. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Yep. And more importantly, you can actually use stories to build your business more effectively. And that was just such an eye opener to me because I was like, how does that work? And that's exactly what we are going to talk about today is using stories to actually not only attract people to you, but to actually help build your business more effectively because it's such an, an amazing tool. And there's, you know, in any business, you have tools. I think about as as myself as a teacher, and I think about all the teaching tools that I have, you know, in, in my toolbox. And you are no different. I mean, think of you, ourselves as moms. I know there's a lot of moms on here. Or just as a parent, you go, oh, my gosh, you have a lot of tools that you need to pull out occasionally um, in working with your kids. And building your business is no different. And Facebook Stories is a fantastic tool to help you. So what are Facebook Stories exactly? So Facebook Stories is a multi-purpose visual content sharing feature on Facebook. You're able to share photos, videos, animations, polls, texts, posts, music. You can literally have so much fun with this. This is where if you don't have a creativity gene, you're going to create one. And if you do, you are going to love, love, love this. Stories have a 24 hour expiration date. So this is really what sets stories apart from a typical newsfeed. They're gonna show up at the top of your Facebook newsfeed and they're only gonna show up there for 24 hours. So there's a special things that because it's a limited time offer, right? Or a limited viewing that you can do in stories that we wouldn't necessarily recommend in your newsfeed. Facebook stories are similar to Instagram stories in a lot of ways. So if you're using Instagram stories there, you've probably noticed some very similar features. Um, in Instagram, comments don't show in a feed. Um, and set, instead, they're sent directly to you. The same thing applies to Facebook. This is really powerful because Facebook is going to show your content, whether it's a news feed, um, well, specifically your news feed, to people that you're interacting with. So if you are able to start a conversation with somebody in a face, via a Facebook story, bring that into Messenger, then therefore Facebook recognizes that you guys are connected, you have a meaningful connection, you are re, have a relationship, and therefore whoever is starting to have that conversation with a Messenger, Facebook is gonna say, yes, let's show Molly, Carla's content because they're interacting in Messenger and they're obviously friends. Absolutely. So. So why Facebook stories are great for business? When it comes to organic reach, uh, brands and marketers are in a tough spot. So in January of 2018, so three years ago, Facebook changed its news feed to prioritize, you know, what we call meaningful interaction, making it hard for businesses to get organic reach. So Facebook has now in the last couple of years really focused on communities and the user experience, um, hence limit, limiting posts that are less personalized. And you have to have a pretty big ad budget if you're going to actually have sponsored ads on Facebook anymore. And so businesses have had to find more creative and effective ways to grow on social media. And stories are such a fun way for brands to develop content that look and feel more personalized and receive a considerable amount of attention from users. And it's really, I just have a lot of fun with Facebook stories and we'll get into that in a little bit, but it is really fun. And I think of stories you know, as just a fun way to share what I'm kind of doing during the day. And for me as a teacher, uh, you know, and having a business, 
it's really fun to just post a variety of different things because with stories, people can get to see all these little snippets of you that um, really help develop who you are. So stories offer brands, again, the opportunity to once again get in front of their audiences with great content. Okay. I also want to just give a shout out. I see Brittany on this morning, and I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but Sifokazi. I'm so sorry if I just butchered that, but uh, welcome. And I see Chelsea on this morning. So again, welcome, ladies, and thank you so much for being here. So why do you believe in Facebook stories? So Facebook stories, like Molly just mentioned, is a way to get in front of your audience and literally be at their fingertips. You're at the top of everyone's feed. So if everyone obviously is on Facebook today, so you're probably familiar with the stories feed across the top, that's going to show your content first. Before you even start the scroll, before you even get into the endless scrolling of Facebook, stories are right there. So you're scrolling across the top. This is where all the eyeballs are. A lot of times people aren't even going to the news feed anymore. They're just sticking in their scroll of their stories. Competition is not as fierce here, right? So you're able to get in front of people. It's it's something new. So it's nice to get, get kind of ahead of the curve here. Um, and stories can be personalized enough to feel less like a brand and selling and more like a friendly conversation. Mm -hmm. And really like you can start to pour into some value. Molly already mentioned that you have, can have a good mix of things. So typically, when you are doing your posts on your feed, there's certain th there's do's and don'ts. And we've talked a lot about that in this group, about do's and don'ts of your news feed. With the stories, you have a little bit more flexibility because they only appear for 24 hours and then they go away. So it's not like your news feed where somebody new coming to your page would see all of your products, testimonials, before and after, and all of that on your page. It looks very spammy. In your stories, they're only there for 24 hours, so you can drip different things about your brand, about your products or your service in your stories, and they're only going to be there for 24 hours. Stories can grow a following that can be retargeted. So what we mean by that is because you're able to see who's seeing your content, then this is super powerful because who wouldn't want to know who's seeing what they're, what they're putting out there? I do. <laughs> because yes. as, as you see those eyeballs on you, then you can start to retarget your messages, your content for who is actually consuming it. You can cross post with Instagram and Facebook. And Molly and I are going to show you exactly what that looks like here in a little bit. And when someone comments or replies, it goes straight to Messenger. And this is powerful because as soon as you start interacting in Messenger, all of a sudden Facebook starts to show more things to the people that you're interacting with. The other thing is, is it helps to create that poll strategy for you. So rather than starting 10 conversations every single day, which can be really time consuming, now you're interacting with people because other people comment on your stories. They initiate the conversation and therefore they're creating, they're starting the conversation and then you can continue that conversation, but you're not you're not reaching out to people, you're creating that poll for you directly. Molly, do you have anything else that you'd like to add to that? You know, I was just thinking of that concept, you know, in network marketing, we talk about fishing versus hunting. And one of the things I like to think about with stories is, is you're really fishing because it's a way to put, you know, things out there. When you're fishing, you have you have bait, right? And so when you're you're fishing, you're putting out bait and you're just kind of hanging out waiting and people will come and bite. And it's fantastic because that's a bonus of Facebook stories is that again, you can post things that you don't normally do on your feed. And it's a great way for people to go, oh, wow, that looks really cool. And, and you know, make a comment or give you a heart or a like. And it's a really cool way to kind of, as I say, what we call fishing in in there so yeah, that's great so you guys drop us some hearts and some likes if you if this is making sense if this is resonating with you as always if there's any questions that come up feel free to drop them in the chat as we go because we would like this to be as interactive as possible and make sure that any tips or traits that you've come across we can share with the group as well absolutely so Facebook stories can be tracked in a couple different ways. And we're only going to, you know, talk about the one on the left. So um, 
Facebook stories, there's insights that you can do from your desktop. And that's a little more uh, complicated. And so we're really just going to focus on the individual stories. So on an active story, you can see who has viewed or reacted to your story, which is actually really cool. So I did uh, one the other day, and it was just you know a story on just a quick story on a product, and it was fun to see who just saw it. Um, and then several people commented, and it was like. So you're just being able to get an idea of who your audience is and who picked up on that story. And that can help you so much because if you have a business avatar, you can go, oh, is, is my story attracting my avatar? And so it's kind of a cool way to actually check yourself and I love being able to do those kind of self-tests and analyzing your stories and your posts to go, what's working, what's not working? And we'll go through a little bit more of that today. But Carla, do you have anything else to add to that? No, I think yeah. you hit on there. Yeah, okay. So, um, how to use Facebook stories, you guys. There are so many options and this gets super fun. There's, so when you open up your Facebook and you go to click the plus button to create a new story, it's gonna ask you a series of, give, or give you a series of options. So you can do text, selfies, text and pictures, video and storytelling, boomerang and polls. Or like, like Molly and I do, you can combine a bunch of these. So you can do text and you can do storytelling and video and a boomerang and a poll. I mean, there the, the world is your playground here, right? Right, guys. So the idea is to pick one to get started. So I think the first time I started using stories, Molly, it was a simple text. So you select the text and then you type in something. It could be a motivational quote. It could be words of encouragement. It could be a testimonial of a product. It could be so many different things. It could be something fun you did. Um, it could be, you know, if you're doing a selfie, it could be a picture of you having your lunch or your, your, um, you know, your energy drink or something for the day. Um, so many different options here. But the thing is to get really start getting familiar with it and playing around with it. Um, but yeah, those are, that's just a list of the options. And then of course, any way, shape or form that you can combine them. And I would encourage interaction as much as possible. So yeah. Yeah. And it is fun. It's, it's kind of crazy because when you, um, post a story from your phone, which I highly recommend, and it took me a while to kind of figure this out, but when you post a story from your phone, your phone gives you so many more options than your desktop or your laptop does in posting oh. your stories. And That's so I, I highly recommend that you do stories from your phone because mm -hmm. that's what gives you so many options when it comes to to these things. And I think we're going to try and show you how to do a couple things. Um, but if you can give us, you know, uh, give us, I don't know, uh, drop a two in there if you have done all of these things. And maybe um, if there's something that you haven't done, let us know, because that'll help us too of going, hey, is there something that you would like to learn how to do? And that will help us too to kind of pick something. So again, if you have used all of these, just, yeah, you know what, instead of saying two, just say, hey, I've done all. And then if there's one of these that you would like help with, just drop um, the number of those or tell me what it is. So Nikki says none so far. Okay. So fantastic. You are in the right place today. So um, and welcome from North Carolina. Yeah. Okay. And we'll see if we get a couple more in there. So let us know again where you are on your stories. So Here's some ideas for stories. Um, and again, when we talk about Facebook stories, we're really talking about Instagram as well. 
And also um, LinkedIn does stories or what as well. So if you are on LinkedIn, Instagram, or uh, Facebook, these are ideas for you, okay? So uh, we've got a couple of requests for boomerang, video storytelling, yeah, okay? So some content ideas for Facebook stories. So a new product launch. So maybe there's a new product that you just came out with or there's a special sale. Stories are a great place um, to do that because again, you can put that those things in your stories and they're going to go away in 24 hours. So it's a great way to go, hey, take a look at this. Um, behind the scenes footage. And what we mean by that is um, to show us what your life is, is really like. For me, you know, today it's like, oh, I have nice clothes on, I have my, you know, hair done, my makeup. But you know what, for behind the scenes, I, again, a runner, I am normally in my running clothes and a hat and my sunglasses. And sometimes I don't get a shower until three or four in the afternoon. You know, so <laughs> that's kind of a behind the scenes type thing. Or maybe show us your office and what it really looks like. Carla, I have loved some of your behind the scenes because you have this great little corner and really great backdrop. And it looks so lovely. And then you've shown what the rest of the room looks like. And it's like, I love it because you go, yeah, I get it, right? Well, you've got toys and things out there. And people really can relate to that because that's showing authentic authenticity. Um, holiday messages and offers, you know, as, as a holiday, I even hate to say that Christmas is approaching, but it is, which is kind of scary. Um, but it's like, those are a time to start thinking about what to post. Special events, um, customer praise, or shout out to team members. I know that's something that we really like to do is give shout out to our team members for rank events, uh, rank advancements, or welcoming new team members. Um, how to videos, you know, which is really fun, whether it's like how to put on mascara, how to um, take your protein uh, protein shake in the morning, how to, you know, um, how to do some simple stretches, um, how to fix a quick breakfast. I mean, there's a gazillion things that you can do a how to on um, lifestyle. You know, again, what do you like to do? I love I live just a couple minutes walking distance from a lake. And I love going out on my stand-up paddleboard that I got for myself for my birthday. And I love posting pictures from the lake. I mean, yeah. Um, music, favorite music. You know, those are, there's so many things. And we have a great little bonus offer. So stay to the end to get some special ideas. But Carla, do you have anything else? Um, to add to that, because I know you're so good at, at stories as well. I just love watching yours. It's so, so I, I, oh, I don't know if I have an echo there. Am I okay? Yes. Okay. So for those of you that are using stories, um, I like knowledge is great, you guys. I'm so glad you're here. But really what we want to do is inspire you to get into action. So which one of these on the list that Molly just shared with us, one through eight, are you going to do today? Um, I'm really curious because these are some great ideas. She just went further on how you could utilize these ideas and take it a step further. But which one of these, I want to know, and I'm watching the poll, and I know who's online, which one of these are all of you going, this is the auditor in me coming out. It's like, I know who you are. <laughs> you know, like, I'm watching you. Um, in the chat, one through eight, which one of these are you going to use? And if you're going to use the combination of those, let us know that too. Um, I know... There's um, an interest on looking at boomerang and polls. And so I'm just going to touch on that really quick. For polls, when you open up a new story, um, you have the option of which one to choose. So for, for to get you started, Bobby is going to use music. I love it. Um, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But when you open up a new story, cl cl click the plus button, go to selfie, and then it will allow you to, to put a picture. People love to see you guys. 
So I don't care what you look like. Molly just said she does running, you know, and she might not get a shower till three or four. She's not waiting till three or four to put her stories up. She's posting just as is. It's that behind the scenes. It's the authenticity. The thing that I love about stories is it's authenticity. And if you're scared to, to show your authentic self, if you're scared or fearful of putting yourself out there, stories is a great way. And I hate the saying dip your toe, but everybody has to start somewhere. It's a great way to dip your toe into showing up as your true self. It's only up there for 24 hours, you guys. And then it's gone. So if you can give yourself 24 hours of grace to show up as your authentic, true self, it's going to go away and you're going to love it and you're going to do it again. So I would pick a selfie, show people who you are. And then within the selfie, you can actually go to the top. There's a bunch of different buttons at the top and you can select the, oh, it's a square and click on that. And then it's going to give you options of, Molly, do you call them GIFs or GIFs? I never know what the right term. Uh, gifs. GIFs. Yeah, okay. GIFs. GIFs. I guess it's GIFs or because, yeah, you don't want to. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. And GIFs. You, GIFs. I think it doesn't matter. It's like tomato, tomato. Yeah. So you click on that and then there's going to be options to add music. There's going to be add options to do a GIF. There's going to be options to do a poll or a question. So the reason that I say this is because I want people to see you. And then I want you to have them do some type of action because you can layer these things. Don't just do a selfie. Get, try, try to do the engagement. And there's a question about here's or polls. So don't just do a poll. Don't just do a yes or no poll. Add your selfie and your picture on top of it and start layering these things. Now, if that seems too complicated for you or overwhelming, then start small. Just get something out there. We actually recommend that you have five to ten stories going every single day continuously. This is really important. You do not want to miss a day. Because the scrolls that you're seeing across the top, you're working your way up the ladder, the horizontal ladder. As soon as you miss a day, you go to the back of someone's feed. And I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather be first than last. Mm -hmm. so don't let your stories lapse. Always have something going there. It's a 24-hour cycle. So if you put something in there in the morning, afternoon, and evening, you're guaranteed to never get booted to the back of the line. So if that's making sense, you guys, drop us some love hearts and some likes um, below. I um, just want to do a quick check in because I just <laughs> went through a lot of information. <laughs> I, and it's, you know what, it's, you need to kind of allow yourself some time. And so I am really encourage you to sit down for 15, 20 minutes and just play. You know, go to text, go to picture, and just actually start pushing buttons, really. Um, and that's honestly how I got myself through this last year of, you know, with COVID, it was like my motto became, you know, just keep pushing buttons until you figure out how to get something to work, right? And that's what you need to do with your phone. I know, um, for me, I'm a little bit older, and so sometimes learning to push buttons was a little scary because I was always afraid I was going to screw something up. And you know what, guys? You you cannot screw it up. The only way you can screw something up is to actually to not do it. And so I really encourage you to take some time today and sit down with your phone and take a picture and then start playing with the things that you can do. Last night I was doing this and I was cracking myself up from all the things that I could do because I did a selfie one and then I went through all the things that I could do with that selfie and it, there was one where I could take it and make my mouth look like super gigantic and I was cracking up. My husband goes, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm just playing. <laughs> Because it's really fun to see all these different effects that you can do. And it's like, oh, my gosh. So allow yourself to take the time to learn. Because if you don't take the time to do that, it won't happen. Um, another thing I've, I've done, honestly, too, is I've gone in and done some YouTubes of, like, you know, just searching for some YouTubes on how to do certain things. And um, it's, it's just amazing. So 
there's so many things you can do, like adding effects and animations, 3D drawing, add stickers. I love the stickers you can add. I think that's because I'm a scrapbooker. Um, and so I just love all that stuff. Adding text, using the drawing tool. You can tag your friends. There's so many things that you can do to make your stories really fun. But you have to start out simple. And I know I did that. The first thing I figured out how to do was a simple text. And I'm still not a whiz, but at least I know now it's like how to add stickers and make them bigger, smaller, um, you know, use the drawing tool. It's just fun to play. So allow yourself time to play. I love that. Okay, so here is your assignment today is post a story. And that, so coming from the auditor and the teacher, right? <laughs> you have a task to do today. So um, I'm going to try to do uh, this. I'll see, you'll have to tell me if it shows up because, well, let's see. I wonder if I could, it's like I need my phone to, um, I'm gonna grab my tablet over here. Um, yeah, so if you guys are on your phones, if you can be by your laptop or if you're on your laptop, grab your phone. Um, we do wanna take the next uh, five minutes or so to just walk you through how to create a story. So when you are done today, you have a first start or if you've done stories before and you maybe haven't posted yet today, then that task is gonna be marked complete for you today before we are done here. So if you guys could get on your phone or tablet or laptop, we're gonna get a, a story posted for you. We had some requests um, for Boomerang. So that's another option that you can go in when you create the story. So um, let us know you, when you guys are ready, give us a thumbs up below. Um, we're gonna dive in right into this. So we're gonna have you go up to your um, stories, hit that plus button and start to select a story type. So if you're on your laptop, it gives you two options. If you're on your phone, it's gonna give you probably six. Green screen is a new one. That's also an option. That one can be really fun to play around with. You can put a photo in your background. That's a great one to do some type of tutorial. Um, as Molly mentioned earlier, you can be have an image in the background and you can start to point at things and really walk someone through whatever it is that you want to teach them. So if you okay. Guys, okay. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take a selfie on my um, tablet here and just a simple selfie. And then I've got a nice cheesy smile. So now I have my picture. So I'm going to go to Instagram. And I actually like going to Instagram because when I open Instagram uh, and post a story, it'll go to Facebook and Instagram at the same time. OK, so when I go to Instagram, um, you'll see there there is a little uh, plus. And I'm going to click on that plus. And there's different ways you can do this. But um, and it'll say up at the top, it'll say new post. And then at the bottom, you have choices whether you're going to do a post a story, reels, or a live. And I'm going to click on story. And then I'm going to click on that picture and choose my cheesy smile one. Okay. And then on that cheesy smile, you can see um, a list of things to do at the top, which is kind of fun. So there's a square with a little smiley face and those are stickers. So I clicked on that and I'm gonna do poll. So I'm going to search for poll and you actually do a search for poll and it'll come up and you'll go, oh, there's a poll sticker. So you click on that and then it says, ask a question, yes or no. And I went, okay, that's cool. And then it took me a while to find out that, oh my gosh, you can change, you can ask a question. What question do you want to ask? So I can ask a question like, is it uh, sunny today? 
Okay. And now I can change. So now my question says, is it sunny today? And I can even change the yes or no to um, partial or anything. So you click on the yes and you can change the yes to something else and you can change the no to something else. And a tip that I learned uh, from Fraser Brooks um, is he's like, you always want to make it a positive answer. So he'd be like, yes, now or maybe later. And so it was never a no. And I thought, well, that was clever. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd how to do that with the weather. Is it sunny today? It's pretty much a yes or no. But I was amazed that I could even change the yes or the no to something else. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's really cool. And then the other cool thing you can do is you can move that sticker around. So you go, it's, you can put it wherever you want to and which is kind of nice and make it bigger or smaller. So I could even cover my face with that, you know, which is why would I want to do that? But anyways, so that is really simple of how to do a poll. And then when I'm all done, you just click on that bottom left to where it says your stories and it'll automatically go to your stories. So um, hopefully just that simple one was, um, you know, just a little tip of how you can move things around and manipulate. And to me, that was like, oh my gosh, how fun is that Yeah. to yeah. be able to do? I want to know who's done. So hopefully you guys were able to follow along with what Molly was showing you. And I want you guys to put a done in the chat when you're done with your story for the day. If you can't do it right now, if you don't have access to two electronic devices, then I want you to come back later today when you do post your story and comment done so that we know that you guys have your story done for the day. We're here to inspire you to do action. It's one thing to ob obtain the knowledge, but it's another thing. Nothing happens to your business until you get into action. So we want to make sure the teacher and the auditor today, that's who you got. So <laughs> I can recommend things, but Molly can actually make you do them and give you an <laughs> <laughs> space below when you're done oh awesome angela you're already done i'm so excited um we have a few other people i i, I don't i don't want to butcher the name I, i'm so sorry <laughs> but i know i i, I hear you on that so that. you know what we are going to do is we have a little bonus today where we have a basically it's 21 uh facebook story ideas and uh that we can share with you and so if you are done and you would love that PDF, say, please say done and you want the PDF and we will make sure that we get that to you. So it's just kind of a fun list. It's a PDF document um, that just has some really fun story ideas and ways to like if you get stuck that you go, Oh, yes, I have this 21, you know, uh, story challenge to do. So um, as I say, if you would like that, just press done and PDF and we will make sure that we get that to you and post that in here. Awesome. awesome. All right, you guys, that's all we had for you today. Thank you so much for showing up, not for us, but for yourself. We are so proud of you and we are so excited to get all those done in the chat. We hope you guys have a great week and we will see you back here next Thursday. Sounds good. Have a great day. So excited for you guys to go out and share your stories today.